Welcome back to the channel everyone, Crypto Take over here coming back with a Bitcoin cryptocurrency video today. We got XRP all over the freaking headlines today. These are like the only articles I could honestly find. Uh, just doing some uh, research on the, some news articles. Pretty much ripples all over the news right now. Talking about how it's getting delisted from exchanges to uh, it dropping all the way down to 36 cents. Uh, pretty much our same uh, area that we actually called for yesterday in yesterday's video. So if you hadn't checked that out, go check out the previous video. We called for XRP going into the 30 cent area uh, with our FIB retracements and then obviously using Market Cipher. Uh, and we're going to maybe take a look and see if it could dip any lower than that too, possibly. Uh, there, there is a strong possibility that it's going to take a while for Ripple to recover, um, but we'll have to just kind of um, you know go with the flow on things here. I, I was curious to see this article here and to see what exchanges it got, got delisted from. We'll take a look at Bitcoin and maybe some altcoins moving forward. Um, and let's go ahead and cue that intro and get started. Here we go. All right, everyone, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family if they're interested in cryptocurrency or thinking about getting into it. We have a beginner course to crypto uh, down in the links in the description box below, and I would highly appreciate if you subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you can stay informed about all the cryptocurrency news. And we go over the charts pretty much every single video, too, as well. Um, give our opinion on the markets and our technical analysis, too. So cryptocurrency exchange avoid delisting XRP to avoid legal troubles. All right, so obviously, you know, there's a big fight going on right now. And um, <clears throat> I would imagine that the SEC is gonna want some money from this. And uh, you know, if, if uh, Ripple's willing to pay that up, we'll have to see. Or if they're gonna continue to fight tooth and nail with this, then um, you know, it could possibly mean a further demise with, uh, with Ripple. We've seen that same thing happen with Kick token, Veritasium. And those have just taken so long to recover, honestly. Uh, and, you know, this is not looking good, too good for Ripple XRP, honestly. So uh, I was just curious about what exchanges. Uh, it looks like BXE Exchange uh, due to this XRP pending further and Osul.com. Uh, I'm not too sure what exchanges these are, to be honest, but... Uh, you know, this could just be the start of more delisting of Ripple. You know, I don't want to be a bearish bear, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, we have to kind of uh, give what is taken to us right now. And uh, also, we're going to take a look at the charts just to see what could be happening here uh, further with XRP. Now, I think that XRP is still um, probably a good long term hold, but, you know, there's always going to be fluctuations. The sad part about this is that. You know, all the XRP whale holders probably knew way in advance that this happened. Um, apparently, they received a letter um, to the XRP headquarters and, uh, you know, weeks in advance. <laughs> and now they're coming out with the news that, that the, X, the uh, SEC was uh, going to be asking for their compensation <laughs> because uh, they could be listed as a security. So <clears throat> just sad news overall that, you know, people get so, so bullish on these things and then um, they continue to dump, uh, you know, once uh, there's some bad news and more than likely the Spark token. I was watching a video this morning about the spark token airdrop um, that being part of the reason that xrp pumped and then once the news comes out the the dump happens right so uh it's just very interesting but obviously the the spark token is still um in its proper uh progress to be airdropped i believe within six months uh, i released the exodus video a couple of months ago talking about the airdrop and also stating that um you know, the, the airdrop, uh, you could obviously do it over Exodus wallet. And so now Exodus has uh, put a disclaimer on there saying that the uh, Spark token uh, will be complete and it should uh, finish its network boot up, I guess, uh, probably within six months or so. It said six plus months. So I think it's probably going to be a while until we receive our Spark tokens. And then obviously with Ripple also getting delisted from exchanges, uh, we're probably going to be waiting a little bit longer for Ripple to recover too as well. So moving on to another news article talking about Bitcoin here. Market wrap Bitcoin recovers to nearly $24,000. ETH rides Bitcoin's coattails. And so Bitcoin sitting right, where is Bitcoin sitting at? Hold on, let me look at the charts here. 23,700. So we're right up the cusp of $24,000. And uh, we did obviously breach that all time high um, the last uh, couple of hours throughout the day. 
um, you know, so we're, we're looking to uh, probably keep moving up to that $24,000 area um, here in the near term future. But we'll take a look at the charts here in a second. Let's take a look at this article here. Bitcoin price recovery quickly for Monday. Small market sell off approaching new resistance levels at $24,000. Tuesday, traders and uh, analysts said it's because demand has continued to rise despite minor negative market movement. BTC trading around 23400 Okay, Bitcoin's 24-hour range, BTC above its 10-hour and 50-hour averages. Uh, okay, cool. So they got some nice technicals on here too. It looks like they have a bullish cross show showing here too, um, sitting above our EMAs as well. There are a few uh, retractions in the market on Monday, uh, sharp drop on Tuesday, fast recovery. Yeah, and so, you know, uh, I do believe that they some of this news was or some of the price dropage was due to the um, news of regulations coming back into this market. And uh, we'll have to see just how that plays out. I mean, there's always going to be bearish news that drops the market or whatever you may have it. Um, and obviously, we've kind of been taking a nice ride to the top side. So sell offs are to occur whenever they are to occur. You know, you have to be ready for them, too, as well. The Bitcoin market is hard, highly levered. Uh, at the moment, and volatile, volatility spiked sharply within the $2,000 price break. The macro cri cryptocurrency analysis Alice Cougar, a $1,000 move under uh, negative 5% under current circumstances is rather ordinary. Expect such price action to continue until leverage and trading volumes come down. Yeah, so obviously, uh, you know, they have uh, the volumes here with some of the exchanges. Um, it looks like Coinbase, Gemini, Poloniex, uh, Bitfinex. Uh, so you're probably going to want to see some of the volatility come down just a tad bit before Bitcoin decides to make its next move. Uh, we like to see those consolidation patterns happen and then a big price jump from um, one, to one direction or the other. So I would imagine that we're, we're at a peak right now and we're probably going to see some consolidation out to the side um, and then Bitcoin's going to make its next big move. Uh, with people heading out for the holidays, Bitcoin's trading volumes at on the eight major exchanges traded uh, tracked in Coindesk 20 have uh, not come down since November. It is possible Monday's small drop is a price. Pricing was viewed as other great opportunities and many new and big and players in the crypto space. Traders and analysts told Coindesk that partially drove the quick recovery back on Tuesday. Uh, Bitcoin's price on Tuesday is now approaching $24,000 regardless of the short term. The trend is showing demand rising for Bitcoin, especially by big players that went that want to get into the crypto market uh, so Alessandro, uh, an over-the-counter trader, uh, crypto trader who has said 24,000 will be the next resistance level. It was my guess the dump was related to macro fears related to the coronavirus, da da da, da research analysts. Uh, I think it's pretty clear in the bullish trend, in fact, uh, intact, and I expect dips to be bought up from here on out. Another potential reason for the volatile differing attitudes towards, uh, Bitcoin and crypto Cryptocurrency differs in parts of the world. Europe and American institutions are bullish. Asia retailer investors are bearish. Uh, so yeah, you just have a lot of people uh, kind of fluctuating back and forth right now. And obviously that's going to lead to a little bit of price consolidation as we've been seeing. Uh, either follows Bitcoin positive trend. So we can also take a look at Ethereum. It does look like they are both uh, kind of moving in that upside direction and maybe Ethereum has recovered here. I'm not too sure what Ethereum's sitting at right now. Let's check it out. Ethereum sitting right at about, where is ETH? About $600. So, it, you know, we were oh, very close to 700 with Ethereum, but um, it has kind of trickled off here. Um, as well with Bitcoin kind of cons consolidating out to the side. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the dollar because apparently uh, Trump wants to give a give the uh, states $2,000 to $4,000 uh, for the next stimulus check, which would be pretty nice, but also hyperinflate that dollar, baby. And we are going to see money move into our assets such as gold and silver cryptocurrency to hedge against the hyperinflation that is soon at play. All right, let's jump over into the charts, folks, see what's going on over here. Don't forget we have our Patreon page. If you're interested in learning about some of our favorite altcoins and how we're hedging ourselves against not only hyperinflation, but hedging ourselves against the big price moves against Bitcoin. Um, and if you feel like you're late to the game on Bitcoin, uh, by no means are you late to the game with cryptocurrency. Um, that is why you have 
uh, second gen and third gen altcoins that are ready to basically take off as uh, Bitcoin continues to head higher. So if you feel like you're out of range uh, in buying BTC, we have a list of a lot of other altcoins that we feel relatively bullish on where you can make up those gains just like people did when they bought Bitcoin back in 2010 2012 um and you know we're starting to see some of those altcoins actually start to take off a lot more now too uh so you know <laughs> it's it's pretty wild but we'll go over to that here in a second uh let's take a look at bitcoin to start us off with uh looking at bitcoin here on the two hour it does look like we are kind of in a little pivot trend line here um i believe this pivot trend line was what we uh, took a look at last time if we broke below it we're going to look for a bearish move uh we've been holding support on it pretty nicely now uh, so this is pretty pretty cool. Uh, things are happening with the consolidation pattern out to the side here too, as well as you can see. Um, and so what we're looking for is probably some more consolidation out to the side, maybe forming some type of symmetrical triangle for the most part, and then seeing what's going to happen from there. We're getting some nice green dots here on these uh, higher time frames. We've had uh, you know multiple wicks back and forth here, and so as we start to continue to move out to the side. Um, you know, it does look like some consolidation is ready to occur. We're seeing our time frames kind of not line up for us as of right now, but money flow is steadily into the green. So I'm still thinking that we're probably going to have a little bit of consolidation just to uh, even out some of these lower time frames, such as um, our hourly and our 90 minute time frame. You can see here money flow is getting kind of thin. So that just means that we're going to have uh, some choppiness and that we're going to have these wicks that occur here too, as well with our momentum waves. So what we're going to wait to see is when these lower time frames want to start to recover to match up with our higher time frames, such as our six hour, eight hour time frames, uh, and, you know, kind of move into that thicker money flow there so that we don't have a lot of volatility. Uh, 12 hours still looks relatively good. Probably waiting for a green dot here. It does look like our VWAP's kind of clipped out to the side. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting a, probably some more consolidation out to the side here. This does look more of a, a like an accumulation range, especially with all the news. People are just unsure as of where to go in, in these markets right now. Um, we'll probably end up forming some type of symmetrical triangle here um, and then have a nice break uh, from one direction to the other. So <clears throat> Bitcoin probably setting up for a relatively big move in the near term future. I don't know, it could be something like this. I do believe it's still pretty early. We'll probably consolidate out to the side for a little bit longer, but let's say this is our move or our symmetrical triangle here. We'd probably take a one point extension from one point to the other. Um, we could say that, yeah, Bitcoin's looking for a move up to 26,000 or so. And if we are to consolidate down to the bottom, um, let's see where our measure mood would be. Let's go back there. Measure move down to the, ooh, not that. We want to drag this down to the bottom here. Uh, we're looking for about, you know, $19,000 or so, $20,000, give or take. Uh, yeah, for us to come back down and retest 20K, uh, actually, that wouldn't be too bad of a move, honestly. I know a lot of people, well, most of the time you like to see these retests um, once we break over major resistance. And if we are to take a measure move from uh, 20K all the way up, uh, let's see how much of a percentage we actually broke out here. Uh, about a 24% gain to the upside. So yeah, uh, and and more than, you know, this is going to continue our uptrend. I don't feel bearish. I don't feel bearish that we're going to go below 20K, but for us to come back down and retest 20K would not be out of the ordinary for sure. Um, even if we are to take a measured move of a, a fib retracement, let's say from maybe back here at this move, we'll say consolidation uh, back here at this move, right before we broke 20K. If we have our fib retracements come back down to maybe the uh, 382, um, that wouldn't be out of the ordinary. Uh, but it, I, I do believe that our, our, our FIB channel at 0. 0.5 or the 618 um, could definitely be in the works. Uh, but our higher time frames are still looking really, really good, um, such as even our daily or so are looking relatively uh, bullish for the most part. 21 hour looking like it's ready to bounce. Uh, daily kind of clipping off to the side here too as well. So let's move over to the Bitcoin dominance. We like to look at the dominance chart. The dominance chart is just looking really, really good. Oh, we're breaking through here with the dominance. Yo, look at this, man. This is awesome. So now we're ready to put in this one point extension uh, with our dominance chart all the way up to, you know, our price target or our dominance uh, percentage chart of, you know, all the way up here. If we drew a one point extension out, this would this would be relatively nice, man. So, you know, I think that this consolidation with Bitcoin and obviously a lot of the money coming out of Ripple probably into Bitcoin 
uh, is definitely going to continue to pump this market up to about that 80% area for Bitcoin dominance. Um, but a few, a, a few of the selected alts that we have too are making nice moves right along with Bitcoin as well. So let's take a look at ETH and then kind of move from there. ETH, I do believe, is kind of struggling just a tad bit, um, trying to reach the $700 mark or so. Uh, but let's jump over into these smaller time frames. Take a look at the daily here. Taking a look at the daily, we are seeing uh, us fall below our pivot trend line. Uh, we had a trend line drawn out there, which led to a nice little pump to the upside. So that was a good little nice move there. And uh, yeah, now we're seeing a little bit of a sell off here, finding some rejection at around that $680 or so, uh, trying to make our way back up above this pivot trend line. We've been struggling with this pivot trend line, but every time we came back down to retest the 21 EMA, we continue to bounce from there. So it does look like we are probably more than likely going to get another bounce here at that 21 EMA uh, and continue further up to the upside. This looks a little hesitant as of right now. Money flow is looking a little thin on these mid time frames. Uh, so I'd be a little hesitant, but we could also say that, let's zoom in here, uh, you know, our, our six hours starting to recover just a tad bit, four hour maybe wanting to recover too. I definitely want to keep an eye on our daily time frame to see if we drop below our 21 EMA, which is sitting right at about $600 or so. If we are to drop below and close below that 21 EMA, I'd look for a move down here to the 100 EMA or so. And because Bitcoin dominance is steadily on the rise, uh, I do not doubt that the uh, that Ethereum uh, could be uh, a little bit lagging behind that too as well as Bitcoin decides to take off for the most part. So uh, let's take a look at the fiat dollar, man. Uh, you know, we've had uh, more talks of more stimulus being passed and, um, you know, including up to $2,000 for a stimulus check or up to $4,000 $4, for a stimulus check too, which is pretty insane. Uh, to be honest, but hey, you know, people are people are hurting out there, man. People are hurting, and uh, it's not to be ignored. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait to see if that was more of a political move or if it was uh, for everyone's good grace. Um, so with that being said, it does look like we are ready to see a rejection here on our 10-hour time frame to come back down and retest this uh, trend line here on the uh, DXY. So sitting right at about 89 cents or so. Um, it does look like we are going to probably see another drop off here. Um, I'm anticipating probably another blood diamond here or some type of yellow X to continue further to the downside. Uh, it does look like, uh, have we gotten those red dots just yet? Um, we've gotten the red dot here on the six hour, probably it will occur on the 10 hour and the 12 hour relatively soon. Um, but yeah, it does look like, uh, you know, big, or, uh, the DXY is probably gonna be ready to sell, sell off again. Um, getting nice projection here on the 21 EMA on the daily too, man. All right. Well, hey, we know where we're headed to. Uh, we know where the DXY is headed to. And obviously we make our hedge and our investments uh, against that too as well to stay safe and to make sure that we can um, provide and protect for ourselves, right? And for our family members, our loved ones, our friends, everyone out there in the community. That's why I urge you to share a little bit about crypto with maybe some people that are really find themselves maybe interested in it. Um, you know, you're going to be the frontline ones to teach them a little bit more about this too as well. So, uh, you know, but that's why we're here making videos. That's why we are so involved within the space is because we find a passion for it and we want to uh, better ourselves off for the future too as well. So thank you for being here on this channel. Let's give a shout out to our Patreon members and uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off from there. So let's move over here to our Patreon members. Um, don't forget that you can sign up links in the description box below if you want to check out any other links in there You would help support the channel or you can just leave a thumbs up and comment down below Let me know how you're feeling during uh, this little consolidation area that Bitcoin's kind of having right now uh, Shout out to Dave and Kim Jasmine Crypto Rex Leo Sparky Johnny 20 William Quentin Ben Eric Samuel Kane Tall Troy Tim Luna Exen Sean Stein Greg Hyru Your Pike 379 Paul A Keller Thanks for being our Patreon members folks I really really appreciate it If you all have any questions don't forget to uh, message us in our Discord server Once you join our Patreon page you uh, need to give me your Discord username so that way I can give you access to our private category on our Discord server And with that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that way y'all can be updated every single video on this channel and I'll see y'all on the next one. CTO signing out. Peace.